Next, let's take a look at how to work with Inventor and the Vault together. Uh, the Inventor application will have to log into the Vault just like the Vault Explorer does. Um, and this, the criteria is exactly the same. Same username, same password, server, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and log my Inventor into the Vault. And one of the biggest things that users have to understand or kind of get uh, used to the idea of is when they're working with with the Vault, they have a specific workspace on their machine that Vault's going to use as their sandbox or, or uh, their local working area that they're going to download local copies of all the files that the Vault has. They'll use Inventor or AutoCAD, whatever they're using, to manipulate, change the files to what they need, and then when they're done, they're going to check those back in. Because the Vault has you know, the, the server side and it's using your local workspace, one of the biggest things that people have to kind of get the idea of is there is a mapped directory on your local workspace that um, this folder is going to be equivalent to a folder in the Vault. And with Inventor, because of all the file references, if I'm going to check an assembly uh, or a drawing, or even a part in the vault, I want it to be in my local workspace because all the references or all the relationships will be then understood and carried over to the vault when I check files in. Uh, the scenario that I have here is I have a directory of some some files here that I've already completed and I want to just copy those over to my local workspace. You can see in this window on the right hand side C local workspace is where is what's mapped to vault as what's my working area and this designs folder is being mapped to the top level designs folder in my vault so anything that I want to work on I want to make sure sits in this folder so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to um, this project that I've already started or already completed I'm going to copy this folder and its contents over to this AOTC designs folder I'm going to paste it in here So. This is a project that was already done. I used, uh, I just saved the files out in Windows, maybe on a server, and now I have copied those files to a local workspace that I'm going to use Inventor uh, to open and check in the vault. So I'm going to go back over here to Inventor, go to, uh, go to, to open. You'll see that I actually have a vault project set. Uh, that's the one big thing with vault um, when using Inventor is you're going to have a project file that's mapped and it understands uh, the mapping between the vault and inventor of where files are um, the, uh, the the structure and what is the common starting folder uh, in vault and also in the, uh, in the local workspace so I'm gonna go ahead and open this clamp folder and I have a clamp drawing in here I'll go ahead and open that up Now there are several different ways to check a file into the vault. Uh, I have a vault tab to my ribbon here. You can see that there's the log in, log out, um, the check in. My personal preference is to go over to the top of the browser where it says model and change my browser to a vault view. What this will do is it will show me all the files that are associated here. I, I see the drawing. I see the assembly and all the parts that go into it and I get a status of what vault is aware of the file if it's checked in checked out uh, what I see here is an icon that tells me that vault is not aware of the file it's never been in the vault before it doesn't know it, it'd be a new addition if I checked it in now one thing also to kind of point out here at the top of our vault browser is that we also see the project file and you'll see that it's actually checked in that is uh, is going to happen. The vault project file is going to be checked in uh, along with everything else. So what I'm going to do is here is I'm going to check my drawing in. So I'm going to right click on clamp.idw and say check in. It's going to tell me that I have some files that need to be saved. That's fine. I'll go ahead and say yes. So now you can see here that I have uh, the dialog box that we're going to be using 
uh, all the time whenever we are checking files in or out of the vault. Um, there is a section here to keep files checked out to me. If I'm going to be working on these files and I just want to update the vault, I can use this keep files checked out to me and whenever the checkout is done, it's going to still remain the rights to me so I can work on this um, and check it or keep it checked out and keep making changes. Uh, this would just basically a sense update the vault. The close files and delete working copies, I could maintain a local copy of this even when I'm done working on it. It is probably a good idea to try to keep our local workspaces clean of things that are out of date or that we're not working on anymore. So this is one setting that basically once Vault has checked the file in, it will close out what you're working on and delete the copies off your C drive. Uh, a couple other settings here to just take a look at before we actually add these files. This icon right here just above the main window where we're seeing a listing of our files that uh, it's a little globe with an orange triangle in it. This is the DWF icon. When we're in the vault, we are not viewing actual CAD files. We're viewing DWFs of something or of the files. And this is the main the main reason of this is, let's say I'm work, I'm an Inventor user. I don't have AutoCAD on my machine, but another coworker of mine has added an AutoCAD file to the vault. So for me to be able to view that, I'd have to either have AutoCAD or view it in another manner, which basically Autodesk just makes this a default setting. They actually install Design Review, which is the DWF viewer on your machine when you install the Vault client. Uh, this demo here is basically telling me that's the name of the Vault that I'm checking th the files into. And I'm going to add a comment for these. Basically this is a comment on this particular version. Every time I check the file into the Vault, it's going to be a different version of that file. And we'll actually do that. Once I get this into the vault, I'll check it out and make a change so we can see the history of that. So this is a comment of this version of the file. So this is a nice handy tool to maybe keep record of uh, what you changed or why you changed something. Uh, here, I'm just going to use added to vault. Say OK. It's going to go through. It's going to check those files in. Now just to show those files in the Vault Client or Vault Explorer, I'll bounce back over to that. And if I do a refresh, there's a little green dot up here as a refresh, it'll kind of uh, update my view. You can now see that I have a clamp folder and I have all the files that were associated to that assembly in this folder. And just uh, real quickly here, what I'd like to do is I'd like to bring up this one window here to show you the structure. Uh, this C local workspace, this designs folder is the same folder as this designs. So you can see here I have an AOTC designs folder and I have a clamp folder. My clamp folder has all those files on my local workspace and also this clamp folder in the vault has all those files. That's what you're going to start seeing when you're using Inventor. Wherever I save the file in my local workspace, it's going to create an equivalent folder in the same structure on the vault side. So. Now that I've shown you that, let's go back over to Inventor and I'm going to check the drawing out to make a change. What I'd like to do is I'd like to add a pin that runs through this handle subassembly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up, I'm going to open up that assembly. The pin that I want to add is going to be part of this handle subassembly. So I'm going to open up that. Currently I have not checked anything out whatsoever. So now I have this, I'm going to actually start a new standard IPT. It's just that our pin is just going to be an extruded uh, circle. So now that I have my pin, I need to make sure I save it in an appropriate location that whenever it goes in the vault, it knows where it should go. 
So when I save this, I'm going to save it with all the other clamp files. So in designs, AOTC designs, inside clamp, I'm going to save this as handle pin. So I've saved it. I can actually close this out. This will take me back to my handle subassembly. I'm now going to place that file in here. So I'm going to go to AOTC Designs, Clamp, Grab Handle Pin. Say OK. I'm going to click to place it in here. As soon as I click to place it in here, Vault's going to say, you don't have this file checked out. If you want to make this change, you need to check it out. You can see the, the message I'm getting here is file handle assembly.iam is not checked out. Do you want to check it out now? And for me to make this change, I've got to check it out. So I'll say yes. I'm back to my uh, place command. I'm going to right click and say done. Now I'm going to go and constrain it. So I'm going to use a use a mate constraint there, apply that, and then also mate the XY plane to the center axis of that threaded rod. So now I'm going to save this. I'm going to close this out. Now I'm going to do a local update. It's going to say you don't have to do this update, you're going to need to check out the file, so I'll check it out. Save here. I'll close it out. Go back to my drawing. You can see here I'm getting a message now that my clamp drawing is not checked out. Do you want, do I want to check it out? Yes. So here I'm back. Everything's updated now. If you look at the Vault browser, you will see that I have the drawing checked out, the assembly checked out, I have the handle assembly checked out and I also have this new handle pin file that needs to be added so I'm going to give this one last save and then I'm going to check it in and for my for my version notes here I'm going to say added pin to handle Say OK. It's going to go through. It's going to check those files in. While it's doing this, I just want to remind everybody that every time I check the file in, I'm basically creating a new version. So Vault will actually maintain what version one looked like and version two. For if, so if for some reason I need to revert back to what that previous version looked like, I can do so. Let's bounce over here to Vault do a refresh and if I look at my drawing here look at the history of it you can see that I have two versions um, the first version was added at 935 the second at 940 version 1 uh, its comment is added to vault uh, version 2 its comment is added pinned to the handle if I look at the preview tab, you can see I have two separate versions I can view. I have version 1 and version 2. A little bit later, I, I will work through the workflow if I have a file that needs to go back to a previous version, how that is done. But that's this is the basic overview of how to work with Inventor. Uh, it is strongly recommended that you use the add-ins inside of Inventor and also AutoCAD or whatever you're using. And the main reason for that is so Vault and that application stay in sync. If I try to check files out while I'm here in the Vault client, it's going to create the possibility that my inventor and my Vault client are not in sync. One might think I have the file checked out, where the other one doesn't. So this is the overview of Inventor.